Hi, welcome to another Brush and Balcon video. Today we're going to be doing a short tutorial on how to paint a Necron Warrior. Now the Necron's been undercoated, stroke base coated with the lead belcher spray paint. So that, that's just one coat of that and that's coated pretty well. From there we're just going to be using Citadel Null Oil and we're going to be using that so that the details show up a lot better. I'm just going to stop there and then when the video comes back on we'll have all the null oil applied. The next layer that we're going to do is just Citadel Lead Belcher and that's just going to be good to go over all the metallic parts of the model. We're just going to skip to the end, so when we come back all the metallics will be done. Okay, so that's the lead belcher finished on that one. The next layer that we're going to be doing is using Citadel Iron Breaker, which is a slightly lighter metallic shade. We're going to be using that to do highlights on the lead belcher. Okay, when we come back, we'll have the rest of the highlights done on that. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use some Vallejo Modeler Chrome, and we're going to be using that to just do some very slight edge highlights on some of the metallic parts. leave it something like that so we've got a nice good shine on him and he's ready for the next set of layers. Next thing we're going to be doing is painting his gorse flare black and for this we're just using Citadel Abaddon black so we're just going to give it a nice smooth base coat of that. We're going to carry on with that. Once it's finished, we'll come back on with the next layer. The next layer is going to be Citadel Retributor Armour, and we're just going to be using that to paint the little um, kind of coffin shape in his chest there. We 
also going to give that a quick wash with Citadel Graxair shade. So, I'm just going to do a quick little bit of highlighting. It's just going to be on the edges of the gorse flyer. It's going to be using a mix of uh, Vallejo Dark Sea Green and Citadel Abaddon Black. I'll do for the highlights of that because we don't want to get it too light a highlight on the black. We want to keep it nice and dark. Okay, now that the Agrax Earth shade's done, we're just going to do a, little, a couple little highlights on a little coffin shape on the centre of his chest there. We're just going to use a bit of Retributor Gold to bring the colour back to that part. We're just going to use a little bit of Liberator Gold to highlight that. Right, and from there we're just going to do a little bit of German Cam Bright Green, which is Vallejo colour. We're just going to be using that to do the eyes and the little symbol on his chest. We're just going to use a little bit of that colour to do this tube on the front. So, one quick little thing we're going to do is use a little bit of Citadel BL Tan Shade and I'm just going to put that around the top of this part just to darken it where it joins up to the black. The next colour that we're using is Vallejo Light Green and we're just going to be using this to highlight the tube, the little symbol on his chest and his eyes. Just gonna add a little bit of white to that so that we can do another highlight. Add another little spot of white to it. What I'm trying to do here is just put a little bit of the lighter colour on each of the joints where these little bits that poke out join up to the main circle in the middle there. Like so. Now we're just going to touch up a little area there. I got some of the green onto the, the black under his eye. Use some of the original white and green mix on the tube on his gorse flyer here. And some of the final mix, just in the little middle part here. Little tiny bit of water to blend that in. Just 
can use a little bit of Citadel Iron Breaker, and that's just to highlight these parts here. So you can just do that by dragging a brush gently across it, not pressing too hard so you just catch the raised areas. I'm also going to use a little bit of Lead Belcher to just highlight this tube. final things that we're going to do here is just do a few little edge highlights on the end of the gauze flare and then we're just going to add some metallics to the bit at the very top of the blade there and then the model should be finished. There you have it, one completed Necron Warrior. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, it does help us out a lot. And while you're here, please think about subscribing to some of our other forms of social media linked below. Thanks very much.